Gary, you've been working on some stuff um, and I'm not sure what you can tell us and what you can't tell us. What we're looking at is more looking at, first of all, import replacement. So say, for example, somebody makes a component, they make a component locally in Australia, circuit board or whatever, and then they import a plastic housing or a plastic part that goes around that. So what we do is look for somebody who can make that plastic housing in Australia and say, look, you guys need to work together and that way that'll generate some extra sales to the plastic housing guy and vice versa. So the idea is to look at areas, say industrial areas, where there's a lot of, lot of small to medium-sized manufacturers and get them to help to work together with each other. Uh, the other part of the equation, which is what we'll be doing, is sales. As I said, sales, if you haven't got sales, you're not going to spend any money on anything and you're not going to generate any employment. So the other part is we have spoken to a few of the very large retailers and they're prepared to support Australian manufacturers or import replacement as long as it's no more than 10 to 15% more expensive than what it is locally. When I think about what the government can do to try and support manufacturing, there is a there is this green program, green leasing or... Uh, there are, <laughs> um, through the uh, uh, Clean Energy Finance Corporation, there are some subsidised finance facilities which are available for efficient uh, assets. Um, primarily, they're uh, attached to motor vehicle finance, and if there's uh, and there's a subsidy that goes in there, which makes the the loan 0.7 of a percent cheaper if the motor vehicle is energy efficient. And almost all motor vehicles uh, that are new uh, fall into that category. Or you, but although you would be surprised that some purely electric vehicles actually don't. So there's a list of vehicles that do and don't, um, and the CEFC. Uh, is um, it puts money in tranches into banks and financiers uh, to be lent in that way. I, I'm assuming that's what you're alluding to. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that a mechanism that works? I mean, is that an effective mechanism and is that something that could be applied somehow to... It's, to, to it, in reality, all it becomes is a price mechanism because the customer is, is ultimately unconcerned with uh, how the wholesale funding arrangements work um, and they still shop on the basis of price. So... Uh, it's it's a market advantage for some lenders to be able to offer that product or something similar to it. 